So got some car parts in today. Got a transmission cross member, motor mounts, slot pan, and delete plate for the AC. So let's check them out. Alex came by to help out. He's gonna help me go through this and we're gonna try to get that Ford 8 that's behind him stuck in this truck. So go ahead and look at these. This will be the uh, engine mounts. Just got them off of eBay. Comes with a stock 2.8. Um, and then the slider mount. So these are the ones that actually Motion recommended. Talked to Doug uh, for the transmission cross member. This is what they used to kind of design their sort around. So um, got two of those. So it's pretty much a stock mount. And then the LS mount with the slider so you can kind of adjust it around. This is the uh, transmission cross member mount for a power glider. We're going to get it open and check it out. Awesome. Banners for the truck too, so that'll be sweet. And then we'll get that uh, cross member out. It also comes with this mount. It's a it's an add-on build, but this is the mount it's designed around the Bolt Knight 2, uh, Turbo 400, Power Glide, Turbo 350. It just changes the mount here. If you want to do a 4L80 or a Turbo 400, it's a different mount. This is for Turbo 350 and Power Glide. And since we're going with Power Glide, this is the mount we needed. So there it is, a nice simple piece, bolts right into the factory spots, but it also has sliders on everything uh, for the sliders on the engine mount. So if you move the engine in and out, you can also move the transmission cross member back and forth a little bit. It's all power coded and everything, so this is going to make it nice between those mounts and this transmission mount. It pretty much makes it a drop-in, bolt-in deal. The trans mount also came with some hardware, so we don't have to use any of the stock crap either. So this is a muscle car GM swap pan and supposedly this is the one that works with LS swap. So as long as Google did me correct on this, this one should go in here without having to notch the K-member. Uh, so I ordered that one that everybody says seems to work well and we're going to try it. It wasn't too bad either. This is one of probably the cheaper swap pans you can get. Also, I believe this is the part number 1262421 if anybody else is trying to do this swap as well. Then the last piece we got, yep, should be the leaf plate off of eBay and uh, should make that nice and easy to block that off. I'm guessing since it's flat and like this has a ridge right here, I've probably got to grind that off, smooth some of the firewall out so then this can block it off. Also in the motion box, got some uh, Tootsie Pops. So if you guys know, doing a lot of marketing and stuff at Motion, we tried to do a bunch of Gushers. Everybody loved the Gushers, send you guys some snacks, but they didn't quite want to work with us. So not a shout out to Gushers. But we do send you guys some lollipops. I even got some this time. Also, I see a hero card in there with a familiar car. So I ended up getting all the hero cards. So this is a pretty cool deal that they do. Uh, Doug kind of came up with this. Kenny's F body, Randy, Will's RX7, it's so sick. Um, Fox body's motion logo on there. John Kelly, no name race car, shout out to those guys. Whoa. And then uh, Barry Cook, Cadillac Sean, and then the Buick made it on a hero card, so this is pretty sweet. Uh, all the info on the back as well, but something we like to do for the racers. Doug spends a lot of time uh, doing this as well as Mike Pryka did all the designs on this one as well. Uh, definitely some of our are his photos too. Might be most of his photos, but uh, yeah guys, so huge thanks to Motion. Help me out with building the job, everything. So I can't uh, thank them enough. So if you guys don't shop there, you should help me out, help them out. And we're gonna use a bunch of their parts on this S10 build. So before we can get the engine mounts put on here, uh, I had to remove these. This is actually where the stock fuel comes through here. So we popped the fuel lines out, got those out of the way, and then you can reach down in here with a wrench to get these out. Uh, kind of a pain, but it works. But as you can see over here, there is no way. So I think I'm gonna take a little hole saw, cut a little notch here, try to reach back in there, maybe another one here so I can reach these two. Um, and then this way you can get a wrench in there to tighten up the motor mount bolts. I assume from the factory, maybe they reached up in there through the spring perch or something. I don't know exactly. I mean, this side you could do it, but this side I'd have no idea. Uh, I thought originally that this had like a threaded piece in insert into the K member, but it doesn't. So that kind of sucks, but that's all right. We're going to go ahead and notch this like that and go ahead and do that. Uh, we don't have to put the fuel lines back in or anything because I'll end up running just a inline to the new intake and all that. So. Uh, this should work out okay. I'm gonna work on trying to clean this up a little bit more 
and get ready for the new mounts to go on, install those, and Alex is inside the truck, sleeping under the dash. Now uh, he's trying to get the harness out uh, from the ECU, which will loosen this up and hopefully pull all this back. Mostly we only need these wires right over here for the, uh, the headlights and stuff, but we're gonna at least try to get it pulled back away from the main engine bay so we're not messing with that every time we're trying to put the motor in and out. And then we'll figure out what we need to do with all the wiring later. So got the K-member all cleaned up. I'm gonna go ahead and get the new motor mounts placed on this thing and go from there. Alex is still uh, battling. We got the main harness out. Now we're trying to work on the heater control harness. So he's battling on pulling the hole inside the truck apart. <laughs> got the new engine mounts on there. Alex worked on getting most of that cleaned up. Uh, looking at a few things because the plate kind of sits up against this, so I might sand this down, get the plate to sit a little bit flatter against that. So now onto the engine. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing kind of stripped down, AC off of it, intake off of it, kind of down to the bare thing. Probably leave the accessories on there because I do believe they fit within the truck, kind of to look at all that. But either the, with the engine sitting in it, or we might pull it back out to do a cam swap. So I am planning to put a big cam in this thing. I've been talking to Texas Speed and probably gonna get that coming. Uh, get a cam that's set up for high rev in a style setup and then also put some better parts in there to help this thing hopefully live at those kind of rpms as well just valve train related that's kind of the thing that i see possibly failing on this engine would be valve train so going to uh get this thing kind of stripped down and get it ready to at least place in here and start looking at some things so we can make sure what's going to clear start looking at header placement and all of that uh, and get the transmission set up in here as well and then I need to look for a converter that's like 3,000, 3,500 stall, I believe. So I'm gonna keep an eye out for one of those. I think just a cheap converter is gonna work. I don't think it needs anything too fancy on this thing. I've been pulling this part, cleaning it, getting ready to pull the pan off this. Alex has been working on this. And there's not much left to the inside of the truck. But uh, we decided, once you loosen it all up, the deal with the tilt column is all wore out. Uh, so we decided to just pull that column out and be doing big donuts and everything we'll probably end up going ahead and putting like a motion column in there with a good steering wheel with possibly some buttons on it. i was thinking about putting adding like a a, a two-step button to the steering wheel for like uh being able to hit the two-step but lower it so it's not at 7,000 rpm or whatever it's at you know 3,500 or whatever so you can come out bah, 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 and kind of pop it on the two-step and just just to put on a show that's all that it is so we will uh continue to get the column out and all of that i'll keep working on the engine try to get the pan on it it's coming along decently well. Pulling the pans coming along decently well. Drained what oil was left in there. It was only about a quart. Just popping all this kind of dirty down through here. So uh, gonna kind of clean it up a little bit before I drop it. Just uh, dropped the pan and I don't know what that bolt's doing in there, but it was sitting right there, which is really weird. Something else kind of crazy is the oil pan's actually cracked right there. So I don't know what's going on with that, but I will need to investigate. I'm not sure what takes a bolt like that in one of these engines, but I guess while the crown, I don't think anything does. I don't know where that would have came from. So this being an 06, I figured it should have Gen 4 rods, and from what I can tell using the Google, these are Gen 4 rods. So they have a little bit different style in the I-beam uh, portion of it, and a little thicker, I think, on the bottom there. So. Otherwise, everything seems to be okay. I don't know how good the compression is in this motor. It seems not the greatest, but um, I think if I remember right, my 5.3 that I ran it wasn't crazy either. So we will get the new pan slit on this thing and try to drop it in and see what it looks like. Got the new oil pan on, so I think it is time to start putting the engine mounts on. I gotta verify that I'm on the right side, but at least get it on maybe slightly loose so this can still adjust once we get it sitting in the truck. Uh, because I guess on all these, they usually want these slid all the way to the back so you're getting the engine as far back as possible. And then it gains the room for headers and also your uh, radiator and everything up front. So I think most of the time they end up all the way back on these engine mounts. Or as far back as possible until you hit the uh, firewall. Alright, so the new pan's on. We got the uh, transmission hooked to it. This is the power glide out of the Camaro. I actually need to get it rebuilt, so there's no converter or anything in it. I still need to get a flex plate also for this. So um, I'll end up getting both those coming and then final assemble it. Probably send the tranny off to have it at least 
cleaned up, uh, refreshed, and I think the band's going bad because last time I used it in the Camaro, the uh, trans brake wouldn't hold. So I'm going to go ahead and just set it in there, get everything locked up, make sure it's all good to go, and then kind of pull it apart. And then when it goes back together, that'll be it. I'm going to go ahead and try to set these in there together. I'm hoping that they'll slide in together and then uh, you don't have to like separate them. Uh, but if you have to, I guess it's probably not that bad. But this will make it a whole lot easier, at least for mock-up and finding out exactly where the motor mounts need to go. Because as you guys can see, they slide front to back on these. Hop in my car and get it up. Secure the bike, yeah, get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. Boy, I got God, don't fear none. My line busy, take no calls. Feels like I don't have no flaws. Snakes in the grass, cut those off. Yo, squad shitty my So this is about as far as we made it without even being able to stuff them both in there. But if you look at how the pan is, uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to need to go all the way the, the engine pretty much has to come straight down into it because the pan's already hitting and it needs to come back a good pretty much the whole thickness of the pan so we need to gain all this which is where the tranny's hitting the bell housing so uh we're gonna pull it back out get the tranny off of it and then retry this with just the engine no brakes, we go, 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 shade, that's a no, 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 go high, go low, 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 like spinning in a 644, cash money like 504, ball like eight. Well, that's not going to work either, because we're hitting everything over here, and uh, even over here, we need to go that way like three inches, probably at least, uh, down and over, which... Then there's probably no way that the power steering pump's going to fit. I don't see how that would even fit, but I thought guys retained it, but maybe not. Maybe maybe I uh, skimmed too quick over the whole S10 LS swap thing. So we are going to uh, take a look at it, regroup, and figure this thing out. We uh, changed around these chains, so then we have a little more control over it and we're not binding the back. What we're doing is the chains we're hitting on these screws, so just to give us a little extra clearance back here by the head, we're going to go ahead and just Clip those off real quick. All right, we're gonna try this one. We're gonna try this one more time. D two four, no sleep me mo mo mo. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. So we're learning as we go. That side's set. This side we decided to pull off the block, set the motor mount, and bring the engine down to it. Uh, just to mock it up, as you guys can see, the intake right there is hitting. So you either have a choice of not putting it on with the intake, or you gotta do some hokey stuff like this. So uh, definitely learning that as we pull the engine in and out, we'd probably remove the intake completely first and then go. So then you're not running into it hitting right here with this. I mean, if that was removed, we'd probably gain some room and it'd probably go in just fine if the windshield wipers uh, motor was removed as well. We have an LS and an S10. It's not 100%, but uh, got all the bolts in the mounts. That's all looking pretty good. It is super tight back here. And we're just looking at this, and as you guys can see, that pinch weld kind of will give us a fight with getting the tranny up in here. So definitely need to come in there and trim up that pinch weld if I can show you guys. See right there where that pinch weld is kind of overlapping where the bell housing needs to line up. So we'll end up getting the engine back out, trimming that up, doing that. But uh, at least this gives us a good idea of where we need to be. This side looks all right, don't it? Yeah. Yeah. Just, Just up in that corner is a big fight. A little bit, yeah. A few things that I wasn't quite thinking about was the power steering. That definitely would hit that, so I might have to look at like a manual box. You guys can see how close it would be if you're trying to get a header in here. That's probably one of the biggest things is headers, which I've been looking at a few different options. I'll figure something out there. But otherwise, at least it's sitting in for the day. All right, everyone, the LS is in this thing. It's gonna end it off here. We got some thinking to do with the engine mounts and deciding, I guess you could probably flip these and slide it forward a little bit. It would allow us to with the oil pan where it's placed the oil pan will give us another inch or two to slide it forward and then that actually help get a tranny up in this thing uh but either way when we pull it out clean up the pinch well and all that stuff so uh definitely have a few things still to go but we do have an ls in this thing so thanks everybody for watching stay tuned for more and we'll see you in the next video
my savings. Take to the top on the base one. New car, racing. Fast lane, pacing. With the boo, y'all, that's a flex. Now I'm human, I am from another planet. I'ma teleport, might vanish. I'ma wake up, do damage. Join number seven, these boys.